Last week, the Court of Appeal nullified the victory of the Senate Minority Leader representing Plateau North Senatorial District, Simon Watcom. In a unanimous judgment, the three-member panel, led by Justice Dowdy Williams, heard that the People's Democratic Party did not validly nominate Senator Simon Watcom. The court also heard that 12 local government areas didn't participate in the Congress held by the party. The court also ordered a rerun for the Plateau North Senatorial seat to be conducted in 90 days. The court also cited non-compliance with a subsisting court order from the Plateau State High Court made in 2020 for the PDP to conduct Congress before nominations. Another court panel led by Justice Okon Nabang nullified the victory of Musa Aga Avia of the People's Democratic Party representing Basa North in the House of Representatives. Joining us now is uh, Simon Watcom, Senate Minority Leader representing Plateau North Senatorial District, whose election was nullified by the RP court, reordering a rerun in the state. Good morning, Senator Watcom. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank well, you. Good morning, viewer. Well, first, uh, our sympathies, because it looks like this matter has been settled now. So what's next for you? How yes. do you feel uh, knowing that uh, maybe by next week, uh, someone else, uh, or after the uh, rerun, someone else is going to take your position? Thank you. Um, no one is going to take my position because uh, I was duly elected by my people and uh, I know how bad uh, the citizens of Plateau North are feeling at the moment. And uh, that judgment was just um, some sort of temporary setback. Uh, I'm going back to the Senate by the grace of God Almighty because uh, if you look at the votes that I scored, uh, my, the votes difference between me and all my opponents is well above 97,000 votes. Uh, it's not uh, 17,000, it's not 9,000, but 97,000. And I want to assure you, uh, if I go for this rerun, I will score more than uh, what I scored in the former elections. So uh, it's a temporary setback caused by uh, the judiciary, which I strongly feel that that judgment shouldn't have been like that. Um, you recall that um, the Electoral Act itself, Section 134, you know, you know, does not allow, it is not a grounds for somebody to annul the, the, the election. Because Section 65 of the Constitution itself is clear conditions within which one can contest for election. And what will make the person to stand for that election is clearly there. It has to do with education, whether you have any criminal record before, uh, when you contest and so on and so forth. But as far as you have gone ahead and have been cleared by INEC, cleared by the DSS and so on and so forth, and other security agents, and you stand an election, Section 134 of the Electoral Act 2022 does not allow for any reason for a court to <laughs> annul an election based on disobedience of uh, any act before the election. The courts are supposed to saddle themselves with the responsibility of what happened on the day of election. And therefore, I want to assure you that I'm coming back to the Senate it's a temporary setback, like I did say. Uh, the problem with the judiciary uh, these days is that um, several factors are militating against uh, our electoral jurisprudence today. You, the factor of uh, party, there's that of ethnicity, there's that of religion, and then there's that of monetary inducement. And so I want to believe that the, the, my Lord, the justices would have been, uh, I mean, uh, forced by any of these factors to give this judgment. Because if you watch what happened in the presidential election petition, Senator, Senator sorry this to interrupt kind of you. issue Senator, came. Senator, 
Sorry to yeah. interrupt you. Didn't the yes. uh, ruling yeah. uh, yes. by the Court of Justice, uh, by, by the three-member panel led by Justice Williams, didn't you say specifically that the PDP cannot participate in the rerun? But you are saying you will be part of the rerun that has been ordered uh, in the next uh, 90 days. When the uh, substance of the ruling by the tribunal is that you were not validly nominated. On what uh, grounds are you going to stand and be part of that rerun? Please, if you may just help us clarify that. Yeah, because in the first place, the judgment was wrong. We shouldn't have been uh, asked to go for any rerun. They should have stand by what the precedents have been set already. And the president was clearly in the presidential election petition. All right. Where Shetima got judgment and, 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 and the court told the, the petitioners that they have no local standing to come and petition Shetima because they are not members of that political party. Right. In this case, they will become middlesome interlopers. Right. They are mending into the affairs of a party that they do not belong and they were not party to that primaries and therefore they are not they are not supposed to in any way you know contest right. that election okay all right i hear you senator Radcon. however this is the court of appeal that's the final leg on this yes on this um, petition how are you going to so i believe the question would be yeah. on what grounds you can't appeal this decision the court has ruled whether you agree with the ruling or not a rerun has been ordered 90 days from I'm not the date of judgment. So how would I, you I'm be not, on the ballot is the I'm question. I'm not contesting what the court... Okay, so the question is, because you're is saying... the same court. So you're saying that you will still run. On what grounds? Is INEC still going to include your name on the ballot, which is very unlikely because that would be going against the ruling of the court. So the question is... It, uh, there no, no, seems no, no. to be no. Uh, uh, maybe seen the explain to us. Court. Okay. So, are, are you saying that there's a the ruling of the court, the window for you? The ruling of the court, the ruling of the court, uh, the ruling of the court is that PDP's election has been nullified, and that all political parties, all political parties, shall shall is definitive shall participate in the rerun fresh elections. It's like it's a fresh election. I don't know why the court in the first place decided that our election should be annulled. They said uh, on the grounds that we disobeyed a court order. And I've told you section 134 of the Electoral Act does not make that a ground for disqualification. Okay. For annulment of election. In the first place, but so Senator Wankon, you are still not PDP's responding. PDP's election shouldn't have been annulled. You are still not responding have, to the question. Yes. In the ruling, they mentioned that the PDP, well. yeah. your 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 election or nomination by the PDP is not valid, because the process by which you were nominated yes. didn't exclude twelve local government mm -hmm. areas. Hence, you are not a legitimate candidate yeah. in that election. How do you change legitimacy in the time frame of 90 days? How, because even if, like you said, all parties shall, you are not legible because you, the process that got you, uh, you know, that got you nominated was flawed by the court and was spelt out in their judgment. So how will you run? But just to help us to understand, how will you run if they say that the process that nominated I, you as I, candidate I, of the PDP you, was I've flawed? Said this. I said this up initial that it is it was even wrong. The election petition, the tribunal, they are supposed to be saddled with the responsibility of investigating what happened on the day of election. They are not supposed to, in the first place, go to pre-election matters. And I, I think the, the, I've told you that the tribunal or the, 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 the justices are being influenced by a lot of factors. I've given ethnic factors, religious factors, monetary inducement. I've given party allegiance. So it is possible they were just influenced by party allegiance or by whatever factor to give this judgment. In the first place, 
my election shouldn't have been annulled. And therefore, perhaps they feel, let them have a leeway for us to say, okay, let everybody go and contest election. They would have satisfied some interest groups. They would have satisfied some interest. And therefore, it is time for now to say, okay, since we have annulled the election, everybody go for yes. Senator, aren't you making matters worse for yourself? Because what you're doing here is you're impugning the courts. You are saying because of tribal consideration, monetary consideration, you are saying all sorts, and you are impugning the integrity of the courts. And that's not good enough, Senator. Aren't you making matters worse for yourself well, uh, l l while you seek proper l listen, interpretation? Listen, sir. Listen, sir. I and I want to ask you this, yes, please. please. Let yes, me sir. finish. Senator, let me finish, please. Yes. And yeah. Isn't it best you also take our time to seek proper interpretation of the judgment? Is it your lawyers that are telling you that you are going to be part of the rerun? And have you tried to get a second opinion? The, the, the court as said it themselves. No, the no, judges, no, 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 the, no, no, no. The justice no, no, no. said it. I, 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 I think it's best you seek second opinion as regards this. That's what I'm asking. Is it your lawyers? Have they advised you on the judgment since you got it? And we don't subscribe to people imputing the integrity of the court here, please. So... Isn't it best you seek another opinion well, well, uh, as regards the judgment? I, I am not trying to demean the integrity of the courts, but, but I'm just that. telling you what is reality in this country. It's a reality that is happening in this country. It's a reality because if you look at this clearly, very, very clear, the law, the law is explicit about this thing, about uh, what the appeal court should do. The law is explicit about it. They are supposed to entertain what happened on the election day, period. They are not supposed to go back to uh, pre-election matters. So let me ask you, why did you think they went back to pre-election matters when the law is clear that they are supposed to look at what happened on the election day, exclusively on the election day, and that will determine what uh, to give. But, but and there's a precedent that has been set. But, but, they have done that. They, 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 uh, but, but, they, there's there's um, but, such judgments from the Supreme Court. But, but and then look at what happened in, in my own case. 24 hours after a judgment has been given in a sim similar matter, exactly with the same okay. conditions, S S and then the next day, my own judgment came, and my judgment is completely different. Okay, Senator, Senator. So senator. I want to believe that certain factors must have influenced this judgment. Okay, Senator. That is, senator. I'm not trying to demean the senator. justices senator. for whatever reason, but I'm saying there are factors that must have Sen influenced Sen this judgment. Senator. Certainly. Senator, hang on a minute, please. I just want to get you yes. clearly, yes. all right? I know you feel grief. Sorry yeah. about your grief yeah. as regards this. But there are stages also to grieving. Yeah. Is it that you are in the stage of non-acceptance first? Because what you are saying now is hypothetical. It's different from the judgment on the paper. The judgment on the paper is saying otherwise. So is it that you are not accepting the judgment? Because all you are saying now is that it's a pre-electoral matter and everything. The appeal court knew that before they made this judgment and ordered a rerun. They judge based on the fact that mm -hmm. you are not eligible because of the internal problems in your political party that spread across these 12 local government areas. And you are going ahead to say that, oh, they should have judged it in a certain way. We are not talking about what should have been. We are talking about what is already the case. And that's why I also asked you, have you gotten a second opinion as regards this? Is it your lawyers that told you you will partake well, in... Opinion. Hang on a minute, please. Is it your lawyers that told you you will partake in this rerun? Your lawyers told you that, right? Because if you confirm to me your lawyers told you that, I wish you good luck in your rerun, and I'll see how that goes. Okay. Anyway, Senator, I see... Well, you um, let, 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 me just speak. let me just come this way. The judgment did not say explicitly... I will not be participating in the rerun. It didn't say that either. The, because the concluding part of the judgment says that all political parties daring shall, shall, and the usage of the word shall is definitive, participate in the rerun election. So I, I don't want to just believe that uh, the judgment has uh, explicitly say I will not participate. What? On the second question of have I seek interpretation from my laws? Of course, yes, I have. And uh, as far as they are concerned, the judgment did not say PDP will not participate. 
they, they, they said all political parties, the word all political parties, they did not single, they did not mention anywhere that PDP shall not participate. Okay, Senator, we get your point. But we have seen many of these cases. Yeah. You are not the only affected person. There is a gentleman from the House of Representatives yeah. who is also affected, and the facts are similar. But I guess every case must be considered on its own merit. But should it then happen that yes. INEC excludes you uh, because their lawyers will also interpret the details of the judgment? I mean, we have not seen the CTC of the judgment, so it's only what was reported in the papers. But in the event that you are excluded from it yeah. on the uh, basis of the ruling by the uh, tribunal, do you have a second address? What's the next plan for you? Because many politicians behave as if they don't have a second address, as if uh, being a politician now is uh, a do or die lifetime affair. Have you thought of what, no, no, what no, would no, be no, the for possibility for you? For me, it's not a do or die. Okay. So you have a second address? Well, Tell um, us about that. I don't have any second address. I don't have. But I know, I'm certain, I'm coming back to the Senate. Very, very certain. Okay, well, on that note, we'd like to thank you very yeah. much, Senator yes. Simon Watkins, Senate Minority Leader representing Plateau North Senatorial District, for joining us on the morning show.